I've been working with complex big data in the financial services industry ever since I started my career and this extensive domain knowledge and industry experience have helped me in so many different ways throughout my data analytics career. Today, I will show you why domain knowledge is the true differential between good analysts and the truly great ones and how you can gain domain knowledge in whatever industry you choose. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mo Chen and I'm a data analytics professional with well over half a decade of experience in the banking industry. I love anything data and I could not believe these data points when I saw them. The majority of you who watch this channel are not subscribed. So can I ask a super quick favor, please? If this or any one of my videos added any value for you so far, hit the subscribe button. Your engagement helps this channel more than you know, and the stronger data community we can create, the more amazing content I can produce. So why do I always bang on about domain knowledge when it comes to data analysis? Well, here's why. Because I take deep domain knowledge and mediocre technical skills over strong technical skills and mediocre domain knowledge any day of the week. Technical skills are really important as they give you the ability to build your solutions, whether that's churning numbers in Excel, creating a dashboard in Tableau, or writing a script in Python. But without domain knowledge, how do you even identify the solutions you should be building? How do you find business critical problems? How do you deliver business critical benefits? Domain knowledge is something that is so much harder to gain as opposed to technical skills that you can learn relatively quickly. I strongly believe that it is the secret sauce that can take you from entry level roles all the way to the top of the managerial chain. I mean, I have a whole module in my Ultimate Data Roadmap dedicated to domain knowledge across various industries like finance, healthcare, or digital marketing. If I didn't think it was useful, I would never have included a whole module solely dedicated to expanding your domain knowledge, right? I work as a data and analytics analyst within the financial services industry. I was able to become proficient in Tableau in less than two weeks. And I would certainly not say that I became proficient in the underlying workings of the financial markets in a fortnight. Technical skills are really really important, but domain knowledge is definitely just as crucial, if not more crucial, when it comes to data analysis. Now, if you're wondering what I mean by domain knowledge, then to put it very simply, it's the understanding of the industry or field you're working in. And let me tell you, it's an extremely underrated skill that people don't talk about often enough a secret weapon, if you wish, when it comes to job applications and landing your next data role. Think of um, domain knowledge as the context that surrounds your data. It's like fitting puzzle pieces together. Without understanding the bigger picture, those individual pieces might not make much sense. But with the right domain knowledge, you can see the whole puzzle and identify the missing pieces. Okay, so rather than continuing with my puzzle analogy, let me give you some real life practical examples showing you why and how domain knowledge matters so much. The information you're about to listen to is very similar to the resources in the domain knowledge module in my Ultimate Data Roadmap, so listen carefully. Let me start with finance, because clearly this is the industry that I know the best, given I've worked in banking ever since I started my career. Whether you're analyzing market trends, optimizing investment portfolios, or managing risk, domain knowledge is certainly required. If you can understand key economic indicators, such as GDP growth, inflation, interest rates, and unemployment figures, then you can interpret these indicators easier than someone with zero finance knowledge. This would then in turn help you gauge the overall health of the economy and anticipate how different asset classes may perform in various economic scenarios. 
You'd also be able to understand the complexities of market dynamics, including supply and demand forces, market sentiment, and investor behavior. This knowledge would then enable you to identify emerging trends, market inefficiencies, and potential market disruptions that can impact asset prices. If you have deep financial domain knowledge, you'd probably also know various investment strategies such as value investing, growth investing, and momentum investing. Understanding these strategies would help you to evaluate investment opportunities based on their alignment with your investment objectives, risk tolerance, and time horizon. I hope you can see that having the right domain knowledge really is a true value add, something that will definitely help you stand out from the crowd. Now, of course, I'm not saying that technical skills should be overlooked. By all means, learn them and learn them very well. Excel, SQL, and Tableau are amazing tools, and you could learn all these technical skills with the data analytics course from Course Careers, for example. I've partnered with them for a couple months now, and their courses are genuinely good. But just to give you another example, and I'll pick retail this time, because it is also an industry that has a high demand for great data analytics minds. Say you're analyzing sales data for a chain of stores. Sure, you can crunch the numbers and spot the trends, but without domain knowledge, you're likely to be missing out on key insights. Understanding retail dynamics allows you to recognize seasonal fluctuations, consumer preferences, and market trends. With this additional knowledge, you can pinpoint areas for growth, optimize inventory management, and tailor marketing strategies to maximize ROI. The ability to recognize peak seasons, such as holidays or back-to-school periods, as well as off-peak periods when sales may dip, this is all retail domain knowledge. By anticipating seasonal fluctuations, you can adjust inventory levels, plan promotional campaigns, and optimize staffing to meet customer demand effectively. You may also have insight into consumer demographics, preferences, and buying habits. This knowledge allows you to segment customers based on factors such as age, gender, income level, and um, lifestyle preferences. By analyzing customer data and feedback, you can identify product preferences and personalize marketing messages to enhance customer engagement and loyalty. Or you may know how to tailor marketing strategies to target specific customer segments and drive sales. This may involve leveraging customer data and insights to personalize marketing communications, create targeted promotions, and optimize advertising channels for maximum impact. By aligning marketing strategies with consumer preferences and market trends, you can improve marketing ROI, increase customer acquisition, and develop and support long-term customer relationships. Look. These are just some examples of how domain knowledge in a specific industry can help you so much when analyzing datasets. I really hope that through the finance and the retail examples, I was able to highlight what a huge factor domain knowledge plays in understanding the bigger picture. And back to the puzzle analogy, seeing the whole puzzle and identifying the missing pieces. And I'm afraid that's it for today. Short, sweet, to the point, if you like this video, you probably would like these ones as well. Thanks so much for taking a little time out of your day to watch this, and I shall see you in the next one.